So, I told you I was a fifth grade problem. And in light of what we did yesterday, it's just division. So, okay. So if she bought 617 bottles of water, first thing I want to figure out is how long that lasts her. Um, let's see. It'll last her 68 days. So, good. Hold on. Yes, it will. Review of yesterday. What do we call this number right here? Divisor. This one is the? Okay, so the first question I ask myself is, what do I have to multiply 9 by in order to get as close to 61 as possible without going over? What was it? There was a, okay, good. Okay, so then I multiply. 6 times 9 is? Okay. Alright, so now I have to figure out what do I multiply 9 by to get as close to 77 as, as I possibly can without going over. 8, eight and that gives me 72. How many bottles of water does she need for the last day? 5. 4. 4. She has 5. So she needs 4 more. So she needs 9 for each. Oh my goodness! So she needs 4 more.
Okay, you said on the 28th? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So let me go back and look and see what I was doing on the 28th, and I'll see if I have something. Okay, thank you. Okay. Then you do the same thing over again. Multiply. Negative 2 times negative 7. would be 14. Add straight down. Then you multiply. Negative 2 times 14 is 28. Add straight down. What is that? It's a negative. It's a negative. negative 28. Oh, thank you. Multiply. It would be a negative 23. Yes, thank you. Alright, so now, now I'm done with the math of it. Here's the issue, though. Think about yesterday. When we were long dividing with polynomials, I ended up with a polynomial answer. You should. This doesn't look like a polynomial. It's just a bunch of crazy numbers. So now we have to put our x's back on the problem. Now, we started with a quartic, x to the fourth. Division makes things smaller. It breaks them into smaller groups. So all you have to do is go down one exponent. So we started to the fourth. We're going, to put, we're going to start here with the 3. So this is going to be 3x to the 3rd minus 7x squared plus 14x minus 23. Now that's as far as I can go, and I have an extra number. That is your remainder. So now thinking about yesterday, is x plus 2 a factor of this quartic polynomial? No. No. Why not? Because it does not evenly. Because it doesn't divide evenly. If this is 0, it's a factor, but it's not.